Annie as well. One of the oh. champions that is a pretty predictable playstyle. Instead, going Soraka. So Draven Soraka into what I'm anticipating to be the Zeri Annie lane. Zoom out. How do these comps work? Especially when you look toward the stand and synergize in terms of playstyle. Alioria looking for the engage. It's Helisag that flashes, finds the stun, the follow up from the resonating strike, and first blood to Kazi. But not actually doing so in this case means that he doesn't really have that big. Uh, Hex Flash to try and go for it, but Niski's here. Well, and Weaver's Wall will cut off the retreat. Flash used from Comp, steps forward, and Kazi picks up the second kill. While that's happening in the top lane, she again to force to flash away. Get Set up. up vision, look for picks as we start to roll over towards the second, third objectives. But if Mad Lines have already started ticking away on these dragons, getting these kills on the bot side, especially for this area, it's going to be very difficult. Oh, in time, down to 1300. Hilly and Oyoi inside the pit. Trimby and Larson just over the wall is secure. Secured by Malrang, trying to pick up the eye. Whirling Death will put some damage down, and Malrang survives just... Because Comp gets the kill as well, so gets all those extra stats. Niski now in trouble. Oh, the Dragon's oh. Rage stolen away! Beautifully set up and done by Larson. I'd like to say... Just on a sliver of health, and just great Whirling Death from Comp to secure a kill for them. So now Chasey... Next target once again. Here comes Alioria. will follow up with that resonating strike, and... It's just too much damage, too much mobility. And another kill. Give so a little bit more pressure to Shigenda, because Shigenda's supposed to be winning this matchup, but he's not. Well, right now, it's going to be a challenge for the Dragon. Stolen away by Alioya. Here comes Niski, throwing out the threaded volleys. The damage has already landed, as Hillisang has been dropped. Alioya will step forward and take out Larson, and Comp forced to flash for his life. Oh, Comp past the cover mid. Look at bot side now. Karazi also gets to push that in with Alioya. They'll be able to get some good damage onto this tip phase. And look at this, all out thrown down. Shigenda oh, pulled oh, oh. backwards. Chase he finds the solo kill onto Shigenda, and that was beautiful. Black D, smite even down, and Hilly does end up going down, but oftentimes I find that when you're on an Annie and you're trying to play that support, it's worth giving your life for the cause. If you end up getting uh, which means they have the numbers advantage, even Bot is pushed out as well, so you've just got all five members of Mad on this mid lane, and there's no way for Koi to try and survive this. I mean, yeah, Malrin committing that ultimate to try find the pick on Zakazi means that one of the gigantic tools in the team... The opposite side, Niski trying to wall off. The waver's wall will slow down Koi. Larson's got the flash available, but doesn't use it. Dragon is secured by Mad Lions and relying on those accelerated shock blasts. Shigenda landing the poke, but no one... ...beforehand, which is why if you look at topside, Malrang is kind of saying, hey, look, tier two terror is gone. Let's see if we can find a pick on Niski. Let's slow this onslaught objective. So you're always keeping your options open here as mad, and that's why you can see where they're positioned. Well, right now, Malrang has been stunned up, pulled backwards. 10 seconds, two manning the Drake. Koyo not flipping it at the Baron. They are not necessarily shoving in to that turret, and Sol is just given away, picked up uncontested by Mad Lions. It's good assignment. So, Koi now under threat in this middle lane. Four members of Mad Lions stepping forward. Chasey dives onto Larson, who hops away. Four now. Larson re engages, forced to flash to safety. Hillisang over the wall, drop tippers down, but Kon catches out. A thousand gold from the passive. Chasey stunned up by the prison as well. Malring looking for another target, as now Shock Blast raining down on the members of Mad Lions. It's a five versus Shigenda. He's towards the bottom lane. Trimby, Malrang, Larson staring down the Mad Lions. Teleport being channeled here from Shigenda. He's making his way forward. 3,000 HP on the Baron. The Mad Lions peeling away. Malrang's hopped over the wall. The seismic shove has been able to catch Trimby with the wish. Keeps him alive. Malrang's stuck inside the pit. Flash is available to him. Gets away from the stun. Prison buys time. But it's Mad Lions that pick up the Baron. They pick up a kill. And they Jumped on by the Mad Lions, and with Baron Empowered Minions, with the soul in their back pocket, they are now looking to take down more towers, and this is getting even more dire for Koi. They simply do not have the fighting power, and at the moment, it doesn't look like the synergy is he even Chasey at this stage with how big he is gonna be impossible to deal with. And I think that's really what this comes down to. But Niski. Going into the base now, wants to prove that Mad Lions can end this quickly. Well, they managed to throw out that Weaver's Wall, open up the inhibitor. 
will take the bottom lane down as Chasey steps forward, Ghost available to him, and the all out. Multiman knock back, but all of a sudden, it's Chasey that's in trouble. Forced to run for his life. Alio is looking for a target, and Kazi is firing from behind, staring down four members of Koi, looking to pick up their first win here in spring. Nobody's dropped just yet. The teleport's coming in, saving the minions. Baron's still empowering them as the first Nexus turret has fallen. Koi have got nearly no ultimates to work with. Larson needs to have a huge impact here if he wants to save the game. Trimby is going to survive for now. Sidesteps as the turret is still standing. Shikenda looking to fire the shot blast from behind, but the minions are blocking it up. You got three cannon minions here, though, which are now going to deal so much damage. Oh, it goes in. He managed to find the Dragon's Rage kick, jumps backwards, and Tibbers is not going to be able to do a lot. The Nexus turret will fall to those cannon minions as Chasey is now the next target. Mad Lions are retreating, and is Chasey going to be able to escape with his life? There's a re-engage here. Kazi still relatively untouched. Once again, zapping his way through. Larson goes golden for just a few seconds and is taken down by Alyoya. The all-out comes from Chasey. He will drop in the fray as Comp is now running for his life. Mowering the last man standing the Mad Lions. Turn their attention to the Nexus. Turn their attention to the win. And Mad Lions pick up their first win of spring. Mad Lions finally.